What is going on, people? It is Eric Service here, the King of Pinheads, back at you with another episode of Cartoon Discussions. So, overall, Uncle Grandpa has been a show that I've seen a lot of varying opinions on. Some people really hate the show, some people think it's just, you know, okay, and some people really like the show. So in this episode of Cartoon Discussion, I will be discussing why I think people have a lot of varying opinions on the show. But before we get started, I think I should quickly tell you my opinions on the show. Overall, I do like the show, and I think it's a good show. I've seen a little bit of almost every season of the show, and in total I've probably seen, I want to say, around 15 to 20 episodes. So just keep that in mind. I've never seen an entirely full season, just a little bit of almost every season. I don't believe I've seen episode 5, and I might have seen season 4, but I don't really know. But enough rambling, let's just get on with the video. So the first major point I want to bring up about Uncle Grandpa is how wrapped up in its own logic the show is. More specifically, I want to talk about how that affects the show getting controversial ratings. See, this show is very much a wacky cartoon. If I had to make a list of the top 10 shows I would never want to see in live action, this would easily get number 1. The logic of the show is to be as wacky and silly as possible. That being said, it gives people a reaction to either love it, hate it, or just feel indifferent to it. In my opinion, the reason for this is because a lot of the things they do with this important element on the show is subjective in general. Take the jokes for example. The humor of the show pretty much comes from the show's cartoony nature. Some people might see these jokes as funny. My theory on why they find it funny is because as a fan of the show, they enjoy the show's silly tone and the jokes fit the tone. They are a fan of the show's identity and therefore feel at home laughing at the jokes, so to speak. Now, the opposite might occur when someone finds these jokes bad or annoying. In that case, they probably find the tone and the vibe of the show a lot more stupid than silly. And that's what it really boils down to. It boils down to whether you find the show stupid or silly. And because of that fact, in my opinion, it makes sense why the show is subjective. However, on that topic, I think I said all I need to say. So I want to move on to another one of my main points, and that's the character of Uncle Grandpa. Like the show itself, it's subjective if you find him a fun character or an annoying character. Considering he's the main character on the show, it should go without saying your opinion on him probably reflects your opinion on the show. Bad protagonists can make a show fail, no question about that. To be honest, I wouldn't blame you if you did find him annoying. At times, his cheerfulness does seem a little too much and in your face. So that could definitely be off-putting to some people. However, some people could see him as just a likable protagonist. Throughout the show, he's constantly nice to everyone and likes helping people. To put things in perspective, he's not freaking Rick from Rick and Morty where he's selfish and kind of a jerk. He's more of Spongebob from the early seasons. Constantly happy and willing to help people out. I think it really comes down to how forced or natural you think it is. If it comes off as a natural pleasant trait, then you'll probably like the character of Uncle Grandpa and maybe the show. If it comes off as a forced and unnatural trait, you probably won't like him or the show. But I'm done making my first two points in this video. The first point overall being the show being wrapped up in its own logic, and my second point being the character of Uncle Grandpa. Now this next part of the video is going to be a little different from the rest. This part I'm going to talk about why people could like the show, and not really a reason to dislike it. As a fan of the show, this is just a general observation for what makes a good episode. And that's if the show can strike a balance with the wackiness. Striking a balance with the wackiness is what makes a good episode. Let me explain further. Some episodes of Uncle Grandpa go too far with the wackiness aspect. Some of them are just so far in a logic form to the audience that I just can't relate to anything in the episode. Now, not every episode that has its own logic too much are mediocre or bad episodes. However, there are episodes that I feel are out of the show's element, so to speak. The tone feels off, and it doesn't feel like an episode of Uncle Grandpa. It kind of feels like a different show that doesn't have much of an identity other than wacky wacky wacky. However, on the other end of the spectrum, there are some episodes that I feel don't really go far enough. The main episode where I started noticing this trend was Mustache Cream. For the most part of the episode, it's Uncle Grandpa and friends at the store. And while I admit it is a pretty good part of the episode and I do like the conflict there, it just fell out of the show's element. There wasn't enough wackiness or Uncle Grandpa charm, and felt like a completely different show. However, I find that most good episodes of the show strike that balance that really keeps the show together. 
where the episodes are silly enough to keep the show's identity, but also where the audience can still relate to the show. I think as long as the writers keep that balance they have going, I'm going to enjoy the show, which I think is a very interesting observation to make. But I think that just about wraps up everything I need to say. I know this was a shorter video, but this is all I need to say, I don't need to stretch it out any further. Overall, there are a lot of smaller subjective details that make this a debatable show. Some people will hate it, some people will love it, and some people won't mind it. I suppose in some sense the show was a risk, but for the people that liked it, it probably paid off. So, please like this video and subscribe to both this channel and my second channel to join the Pinhead Army. Follow me on Twitter, DeviantArt, and Tumblr, linked in the description. It was Reviews, signing the frick out.